Okay, assalamualaikum and hello. So we continue our session with the power factor correction. Okay, make sure you try to understand it because this will be in your assignment one. Okay, so let me share my screen. Okay, okay, you can see here uh, the power factor correction is one of the subtopic. Okay, so. Okay, if you want to use a power uh, textbook, you can go through 11.8 or you can use the uh, the, the note here. Uh, you can use the note okay, uh, 1.1.3. Okay, you can use the note 1.1.3 power factor correction. So previously, uh, I show you the conservation of AC energy. So basically energy, okay, uh, try to uh, refer back. Okay, basically uh, what you have learned is that for Q, you can eliminate the power. Okay, P you cannot eliminate, but Q you can eliminate. Okay, so if power is not equals to one, excessive current is supplied by the source. This one also I already mentioned it. Why we want to make sure that power factor close to one because uh, if you don't uh, set the power factor close to one, you have Q. And additional Q means that the power supply needs to supply more current, more energy. Okay, this one is not efficient. And you can easily eliminate the Q positive. If the Q is positive, you can eliminate it with negative Q. Means that if you have more inductive load inside your circuit, you can eliminate it by adding capacitor. That is mean by power factor correction. Okay, you can read about this. Okay, so okay, most load is practically inductive. Okay, motor frozen like operate in lagging power factor. Okay, basically most okay most load is inductive load. Okay, motor is mostly inductive. Okay, so that's why we usually use capacitor to correct the power. Okay, so design of the transmission system is very sensitive to magnetic current determined by the apply. Increase in current result in increase the power loss. Okay, so that's why. Okay, if we have too much current, the power loss will be higher in the transmission. Heavier current also require larger inductor increase amount of copper. Obviously, require increased generation capacity. Since the voltage is peak, apparent power is directly related to the current level. Okay. So make sure you memorize this because this is the why we want to do power factor correction. Okay. And then, okay, smaller apparent power, smaller current drawn from the supply. This one also already mentioned. Okay, minimum current therefore drawn from the supply is S equal to P. Okay. So means that if, remember that S is equals to P plus JQ, okay? Okay, if there is no Q, means that S is equals to P. Means that power factor is one, okay? That is mean by that. Okay, okay let me show you, okay, what is mean. So if you recall, S complex power is equals to P plus JQ. Okay, if you eliminate this, Okay, basically S is just equals to P. So this one, if you do the theta is equals to zero. So remember power triangle, Q is zero. The theta is equals to zero. And the PF equals to cos zero, cos theta is equals to one. Okay, so that is mean by that. Okay. Okay, reminder power factor correction is process of increasing the power factor without altering the voltage and current to the original load because load of okay this one is also okay that's this one is already mentioned by me uh, because most of the load are inductive power factor can be corrected by installing the capacitor parallel to the load okay okay how to do power factor correction okay this is example Okay. 
Okay, let me show you how power factor correction work. Okay, so, so I give you example here. Power supply, okay, you have a resistance and inductor. So basically this is your load. Okay, motor usually uh, consists of resistance and inductor. Okay, resistance is the internal resistance of the motor winding itself. So you have R, you have L, okay? This one is Vs, voltage source. Okay, what this means that, okay, this is I, okay? So basically I, I from the source is equals to I to the load, okay? So I from the source is equals to I to the load, okay? There is no other circuit. So if you we look at this example here, this is 10 ohm, this is 0 0.5 oh, uh, Henry. Okay, this one is 240 cos 20 T. So if you want to do this, okay, uh, you have to convert all of this into the phaser that uh, into the phaser domain or frequency domain. So R remain R equals to 10 ohm. L is equals to not L Z L is equals to uh, J W L. So J is J W is you can look here is twenty uh, and L is zero point five. So basically J ten. Oh. Okay. So and of course the power supply two hundred and forty cost twenty. So assume that this is a, okay, I'm not sure whether they use a RMS or PIT, okay? So you have to be careful, eh? When it comes to power, you have to make sure you know whether this is RMS or PIT, okay? So this one is given in RMS, I think, okay? So if they don't show whether this is RMS or PIT, make sure you ask for the examiner. Okay, when you in and you uh, in the test or exam, make sure you ask. Okay, whether this is RMS or PIC because the calculation will be totally different. So assume this is RMS. Assume RMS. Eh? So two hundred and forty angle zero. Okay, so your rechanges. So I is equals to uh, V divided by Z. Okay, so. 240 angle zero, so angle zero just 240 plus divide by 10 plus J10. So you get the answer 16, right? 16.97 angle negative 45, something like this. Okay. Okay, and you can see here this is a inductive load, means that if you do the power factor calculation, okay. Theta V is equals to zero, of course. Theta V is equal to zero. Theta I is equals to negative 45. Okay. So theta is theta V minus theta I equals to zero minus minus 45 is 45. So positive value means that this is a lagging. So if you want to calculate the power factor, PF is equals to cos. Theta equals to cos 45 equals to cos 0 0.707 lagging. Okay. And if you want to show the phaser diagrams, okay, you have to make sure you have a phaser, okay, the real and I am imaginary. So 240 here, this one is VS. So IS. IS, this one is 45 degree. Okay, that is how you present this one. It's okay. And then if you add the capacitor, means that the IS is equal to I0 plus IC. Okay, I0 plus IC. Okay, I not remain the same. Okay, why I not remain the same? Because the voltage is the same. This is in parallel, only additional capacitor are in. So IC is equals to V divided by Vz. Okay, you get this answer. 
Okay, Z, uh, so ZC is just equals to, remember, negative J divided by WC. Or also you can use the one divided by JWC. Either way is the same, okay? It's basically just multiply by uh, I divide, uh, multi, and then divide by I also, okay? It's the same, okay? So Z is equals to WC V theta. 90, okay? So when it comes to this, basically how to represent this in the phaser, okay, phaser diagram, okay? Basically you have, okay, you are redrawn here. Okay, let me use a different, you have the voltage here, Vs, okay? And then you have the, this one is I naught. Remember previously, I naught is equals to I S. But in the new one, okay, let me. Okay, this one is I S. Okay, eh, not I S, I naught. Okay, I naught remain the same because the voltage source is the same. Okay, but the I S is different because you have I S equals to I naught plus I C. Okay, so inductive current, remember, it is 90, uh, 90 degree leading voltage, okay? So remember, recall back, okay? I see basically 90 degree from the VS. This one is I C, okay? So basically you transfer this into the I naught, okay, you get something like this. This one is I C and the I S will become a new one. Okay, maybe the, the one, okay. Uh, this one will become the IS. That is how you represent the phasor diagram of the power factor correction. Okay, so IC is basically, so IC is basically VS divided by ZC and ZC is VS, ZC is JWC, okay. So this is how you present the power factor correction in term of voltage and current, okay? So that is the first one, okay? The first one is the phaser diagram. This is how you represent the power factor correction in the phaser diagram, okay? The second method, this one is much more popular, is the power triangle. Okay, some question ask you to use phasor diagram. Some question ask you to use power triangle. Okay, if you uh, see only the power, okay, if you only see the power, usually we use power triangle. But if they show the current, the voltage, usually we use the phasor diagram. So I record, uh, show back. So power factor. Correction either can be a phaser diagram approach and the power triangle approach. Okay, so either way you can use it. So, how about the power triangle approach? Okay. Uh, let's take a break a bit. Okay, and we continue in five minutes. You can pause the video. Okay, so we continue. As I mentioned before, this is for V and I if the approach is on V and I, but if your approach is in P, Q, S, or uh, complex power, okay. So I suggest you use a power triangle, okay? So the power triangle approach, okay? Okay, sorry about that. Uh, my PC is hanging, okay? So, okay, I will show you the power triangle approach. 
Okay, assume that you have a circuit, something like this, and you have, this is your load. Remember, this is a one load. Okay, usually a motor or, okay, fluorescent light. It is usually RL load. Okay. So what happened if you use RL load? Means that in your power triangle, okay, your power triangle looks something like this. You know? So you have a real power P from the R, okay, from the resistance is P. And then you have Q. Okay, you have Q from the inductive, okay. So the inductive, because of this is inductive load, the Q will be positive and move up. Okay. So basically, this is S1. Okay. Assume that uh, before power factor correction, we use S1, and after power factor correction, it is S2. So this is basically Q1. Okay. Q1, this one. So if suddenly you want to do power factor correction, basically you just add a capacitor parallel to the load. Okay. Add capacitor parallel to load or to the uh, power supply. Okay. So when you add this, you add negative Q. Okay. You get negative Q. So means that you add a negative Q. So I put a, maybe I transfer this first. This is Q1. And then you add a negative Q because you add the capacitor QC. Okay. You add a Q capacitor. Okay. Now this is, okay, maybe yellow. Okay. So basically this is Q1 and this one is Q1. Okay. Supply by the power supply is Q1. This one also goes into this load is Q1. Okay. But after you add capacitor Q1 no more, this still remain the Q1 because remember I not remain the same because it is parallel. Okay. And then uh, this one become Q2. So basically Q2 is equals to Q1 plus QC. Okay. So what happened here? This is the new one, Q2. So basically Q2 is just Q1 plus QC, where QC is negative. Okay. That is basically what happened to the power factor correction. Okay, so this is the original theta, theta one. Okay, so the new one here. Okay, this is S2 and this is theta two. So you can see here theta two is much more smaller than theta one. Smaller theta means that the power factor is much larger than P power factor uh, one, okay? So larger means better, closer to unity, okay? This is what happened to the power factor correction if you use power triangle, okay? So how to calculate C? How to know what is the value of C, okay? So QC, Remember complex power, okay? So QC is V squared, okay? Don't forget this is RMS, okay? Divide by ZC, okay? Okay, remember the formula, uh, S, complex S is equals to V RMS squared divided by Z, okay? Angle. So try to recall back this, but the problem uh, for this case, uh, the load is only positive, uh, uh, only C. So that's why we just call it QC. We are remain the same. 
Okay, this one. Okay. Uh, Z C this become B R M S squared divided by negative. Okay, conjugate. Remember conjugate and negative. Negative again J W C. Okay. Okay, and don't forget J. Okay. Remember complex number J. Remember S is equals to P plus J Q. So J Q C is equals to this one. So basically Q C is equals to V R M S squared divided by W C. Okay. And if you want to calculate the CC is equals to VRMS squared divided by QCW. Okay. So basically, this is the final calculation, uh, final equation. Why, if you want to calculate what is the value of C, is basically this one. C is equals to VRMS squared. Okay. This one is only magnitude. Eh? Okay. Divided by QC. W. Okay, W is the 2 pi F. Okay, this one I suggest you memorize. Okay, I suggest you to memorize this. Okay, this is uh, okay. This is what I have shown you. Basically, this is how uh, how the power factor correction is con uh, conducted. Conducted. Okay, sorry. Ah, uh, my PC hang again. Let me reload this. Okay, so I give you example here. Okay. So, uh, a circuit with R and L load consume 50 kilo. What? So P is equals to 50 K. What? Real power and PF 0 0.8 lagging. Okay. So voltage is V. Usually, if they say something like this, it is VRMS. 200 and 230, 50 hertz. Okay. So a capacitor is connected to a parallel. Okay, make, uh, this one is just a suggestion. Make sure from this uh, words, okay, from this sentence, you change it to this, something like this that can easily as, uh, understand. So a capacitor is connected parallel with the RL to improve the power factor. So this one is the power factor one, okay, before the power factor correction, the power factor correction after the, after the correction is 0 0.95. Okay, uh, if they don't say leading or lagging means that this one is lagging. Okay, assume it is lagging. Find C. So if you can see here, they give power and power factor. Okay, when it comes to power and power factor, you use the second method. Okay, if you will uh, see the voltage and current, you use the phasor diagram method. But if you use, uh, if you see power and power factor, you have to use power triangle approach. Okay. So first, maybe I make it larger. Okay. So of course, I suggest you to draw this easier for you to see. So this is P, 50K watt. Okay. And then you don't know the Q. Okay, you don't know the Q. But this one, okay. So the first step, you have to find the angle. So uh, theta 1 is equals to cos inverse, okay, 0 0.8. Okay. Make sure this one is the power factor formula. Okay, PF is equals to cos theta. Okay, this one is just inverse it back. Okay, lagging means that the angle is positive. If it is leading, make sure you put negative before this. 
Okay, but this one is positive because lagging. So I don't have calculator. Okay, maybe I can use this. Uh, Okay, okay, I cannot. Okay, maybe, okay, wait, I try to find a calculator first. So this one is uh, 36.87 degree. So for this class, I suggest you take two decimal point. Okay, and then you have the second, this one. So theta two is equals to cos inverse pf2 so you get okay 18.19 18.19 so you can see here if i draw this maybe we original one is okay this one is theta 1 and then the new, this is Q, okay, Q1. And then you draw it again. Okay, this one is Q2. This one is theta two, okay. So you already have the information here. Okay, now we want to find the target is find C. When you want to find C, you have to know what is QC. So what is QC? This is QC. So basically, QC is just Q1 minus Q2. Okay, Q1 minus Q2. Okay, you get QC. Okay, B, okay. This one is QC. Okay, basically QC is just Q1 minus Q2. So how to get Q? So remember Toa Soka, okay? The trigonometry. Okay. Okay, so. Okay, uh, where is it? So basically, well, you have to know what is Q1, what is Q2. So what is Q1? So if you cannot see it, this is P, 50K. This one is theta one, this is Q1. So Q1 is basically uh, TOA, T-O-A. Okay, so P, tan, theta one. Okay, so P is equals to 50K tan theta one is 36.8K87. So equals to 50K tan tan 36.87. So you get 37.5 kilo VAR. So you get Q1. So how about Q2? So Q2, okay, remain, uh, when they do power factor correction, P remain the same, okay? I repeat back, P remain the same. 50K, okay? P remain the same. This is Q2, this is theta 2. So Q2 is equals to P tan theta 2, okay, 50K tan 18.19. So this one is 18.19, you get a 16.43 kilo VAR. So you get Q1 and you get Q2. So 
Remember QC is Q1 minus Q2. Okay, this is the capacitor. Okay, capacitor needed. So 37, 7.5 minus 16.43. You get 37.5 minus 16.43. So 21.07 kV AR. Okay, make sure you don't forget the K. Okay. So recall back the formula C is equals to VRMS squared divided by uh, WQC. Okay. So VRMS is 230 squared divided by uh, 2 pi 50, okay, remember the, the frequency is 50 hertz, and then this one is 21.07 K. Okay, don't forget the K, eh? the kilo. Okay, and then use your calculator 230 squared divided by 2 pi divided by 50 divided by 21.07 shift K. So you get the answer is around 7.99 millifarad. Okay. So this is the capacitor needed to improve the power factor. So basically, if you draw this again, okay, if you draw this again, okay, you have a circuit here, you have a RL load. Okay, R, L, load. And then you add a capacitor here. So this capacitor is basically 7.99 millifarad. Okay. So basically before, before the power, uh, you adding the capacitor, you need a Q is almost 30. Uh, the power factor is 0 0.85. But after you just adding this, PF basically become 0 0.9. Okay, 0 0.85, I think, wait, 0 0.8, okay, 0 0.80. So basically, you just improve the power factor. Basically, some of the Q is gone. Basically, you have uh, the power supply just add a little bit more power, okay? That is the advantages of using power factor correction. So if you look here, there is another example here. You can try to uh, do this. Uh, for this case, uh, okay, 0 0.2, okay, almost the same example. Okay, this is the standard question, but sometimes they use a different point. Instead of giving P, they give Q, maybe they give S. So make sure you understand how to use the power triangle. So this skill is very important drawing a power triangle and then manipulate it. Okay. So that's it. Okay. Okay. Sorry, my PC hang again. Okay. So if you look here, okay, they, they tell you more about this in the textbook. Okay. Either you can use power triangle or you can use the phaser diagram. Okay. This is the formula. Okay. This is another example you can look. Okay, that's it. Okay, so thank you. Okay, so there is some correction on the power factor. Okay, power factor correction formula. Okay, remember that uh, I say C is equals to V squared divided by W Q, right? So actually, uh, I wrongly shown this. Okay, uh, so I will show you the real formula. So let me, okay. So Z, so S, not S, uh, Q. So, so J, Q is equals to JQ is equals to V squared RMS divided by, okay, ZC. Okay, so ZC is, ZC 
is equals to 1 over j w c so if you insert this you can sell this okay you get q c okay c is equals to v squared r m s e divided by okay 1 over w c okay so if you write this again v r m s squared w c so basically c is equals to okay so this is the actual formula eh? uh, so q c divided by uh, w uh, v r m s squared or q1 minus q2 divided by w v r m s squared okay so this is the formula okay make sure you do the correction okay and make sure you don't follow the previous video this is the correct formula okay that's it thank you